Hey everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, doctor, lawyer, turned homeschooling mom of three kids ages eight, five, and three. My eight-year-old will be a rising third grader in the fall, and we have decided to use a new curricula as part of our math curriculum. So my son is 2E, which is twice exceptional. He is gifted and also has ADHD, so it makes choosing curricula, especially for something that requires rote practice like math, a little bit complicated. We used Singapore math with great success for first grade, and he really, really did enjoy that. This year, we've been using Singapore math and Critical Thinking Company's Math Reasoning Level C. Um, he's really enjoyed Math Reasoning Level C, but he has resisted Singapore math 2A and 2B a little bit. So we're still gonna get through them because I think it's really important to sort of work through a math curricula, but I do want to switch it up for next year because he seems to be having so much resistance to the formatting of Singapore right now. And you know, he's changing as a person too. So I thought that we would try to do a combination of math mammoth for next year, which is more standard um, sort of textbook based math, as well as Beast Academy with some math reasoning level D from Critical Thinking Company thrown in. So that sounds like a lot, but math is not my son's strong suit. And so we try to incorporate it like on car trips. Um, when I say car trips, I mean like car trips to, you know, gymnastics class or Taekwondo. I'm really excited to show you Beast Academy. They've had um, the third grade level out for a while. They've only just now added a second grade level. And I believe they just released um, 2A and 2B. And I think in the next few months, they'll release 2C and 2D. So it's sort of a four part curricula for a year, if you wanna look at it that way. It's developed by the Art of Problem Solving and they actually have been endorsed by like the Math Olympiad team. So um, it's a very creative way to teach math. It's sort of out of the box. It's a way of applying math facts that you learn. They say on their website that you can use Beast Academy both as a core as well as a supplement. We will be using it as a supplement and we probably will be using 3A through 3D across third and fourth grade a little bit because as I said, math is not my son's strong suit, at least not at this moment in time. He's definitely on level and he's fine, but it's not his favorite thing in the world to do but perhaps this curricula will change that. So when you order level three from beastacademy.com, you receive eight books and you get sections 3A through sections 3D. Each individual section includes a guidebook and a practice book of its own, and it's designed to be done in a sequential manner. So all eight of these books came to about $115 for me. I think that's a little bit pricey, but I hope that it encourages my son's enthusiasm for math because it's been waning recently, and so it was worth it to me. Um, each of the guidebooks is formatted as a graphic novel. And I know for those of you who have children who like graphic novels, that might be a real draw. So level 3A goes through the first three chapters, as you can see, shapes, skip counting, and perimeter and area. And the way it does it is it has, it has several different characters that the child gets to know through the book. And it has this like graphic novel format where it tells you exactly what they wanna teach you in a conversational format. So first it opens and it tells you how to use the book and how the, the book is oriented. And then it goes on and starts doing activities. So everybody can get toothpicks here and start making different shapes. They talk about acute angles, obtuse angles, and they ask little questions here. So for example, here they say how many obtuse angles are in the stop sign, but this would be an obtuse angle. I think this format will appeal to my son a great deal. And so it goes on straight through, and then there's activities inside the textbook as well. So here they talk about different ways to make triangles and shapes within dots on a circle. And it definitely varies um, the format and the colors, and I think it can do a good job keeping a child's attention. It talks about a lot of things that other math curricula might not talk about, like tetrominoes. And I do think that this graphic novel format will suit my son to a T, and it talks about hundreds charts. It has games that you can play included in there. And then to show you what a practice book looks like, here's the 3A practice book. In the practice book, it has a section right here with a recommended sequence. So it says if you do pages 12 through 17 in the guidebook, the, the corresponding practice pages are seven through nine, and so on and so forth. So right here in chapter one, where they talk about shapes, you have a little review section up top, 
and then you have different questions here. And you'll notice right away the questions are not straightforward. Um, I'm going to give you a shape and then you're going to answer um, the question, is this angle obtuse, is this angle um, acute? They ask you, so if you connect A to B to C, so the child is making their own angle, then they'll ask you what type of angle that is. So is it acute, is it right, or is it obtuse? And I think my son will like that um, infinitely better than just answering a preset question. So I like how they have examples at the beginning of each and a little review. If you'll notice, the guidebooks are in color, in full color, but the practice books are in black and white. And I'm just gonna flip through a little bit so you can see. So it replicates a lot of the activities that the, that the characters do in the guidebook but there's not too many problems on any one page. Though each individual problem is perhaps more challenging than what you would expect in a typical math textbook. There are answers in the back of every single practice book. And each practice book appears to have around 93 pages, 90 odd pages of work to do. So I'm gonna just flip through the rest of the guidebooks and practice books for you to get an idea of what the scope and sequences. Here the chapters include multiplication, perfect squares, and the distributive property. And you see it's a very similar style of graphic novel. So it shows you notes and work here. That's cute. And multiplication. I think it's really engaging in terms of like the format of teaching them. And then the practice book for 3B is very Similar, goes through those same topics. I like that the activities seem to be varied but similar. So you'll have a couple days of the same type of activity and then move on. 3C goes through chapters seven through nine and it's variables, division, and measurement. I like that every once in a while they break it up with a page of notes so it's easy for them to see. Those would be good pages to copy as well to put in their notebooks for reference. Here's the practice book, similar formatting. So here they have weights, division problems. I like that they really do introduce pre-algebraic thinking. Um, so like if n divided by 4 is 5, what is n divided by 5? And they use like actual notation that the kids are going to see in algebra later. Here you can see real equation work where they have 18 equals x plus 4, x equals y plus 8, and they definitely have to just solve for it. So I really like that you'll get into actual algebraic math. A little bit more close up for you. This is the 3D book. and the practice book. So I definitely think this will be challenging for my son, especially as someone who's not um, advanced in math per se, but I think that it will provide a lot of entertainment to him and maybe spark a new interest in math that had been waning. Um, so I am really excited to start this with him. He's really excited. He saw these books already and wanted to read them. I'm sort of holding them back from him so that we can finish what we're doing and um, start with a bang for third grade. So but I'm really excited about this. I like that they don't dumb it down and I like that they make the problems engaging and fun. And I especially like that they have a cartoon slash graphic novel sort of format of teaching the kids the concepts. So. If you guys have kids that are into graphic novels or kids that are gifted in math, Beast Academy is definitely something to look into. So this is my unboxing and just first impressions of Beast Academy, you guys. I'll definitely be doing a review later on next year, probably around this same time in 2019, telling you about how it's going for us. If you have experience with Beast Academy, I'd love to hear about it down below. Have you used it from 3A on? What levels are you at? Do you use it for a main curricula or a supplement? I think all of that is really interesting to know. I'm really excited. I think that my son, as a lover of graphic novels and as someone who's not super enthusiastic about math right now, will really get a um, boost from Beast Academy and I'm super excited to integrate it into our math curricula. 
As always, you guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for giving me your time, and I wish you the very best in homeschooling and in life. I'll see you next time. Bye.